to Jeffy's garage. Today we're going to be talking about a choke for a cold start. We picked up a 1967 Chevy Camaro. Here is the choke. When the car is cold, you close the choke so that it runs retro. And then when, when it warms up, you slowly open it. This car has a manual choke where you open and close it by inside the car. We're gonna convert it into the electronic choke where it opens all by itself. This carburetor was installed incorrectly. This vent is supposed to be connected to the choke. Instead, we got the vacuum advance connector here. First you take the cable off. Then you take the three screws on to hold it all together. Here's the old one, and here's the new one. This circle goes on to the choke lever. By putting power to the coil, it opens and closes the choke. Before we put this on, we have to fix this mess. It's supposed to look like this air vent. We fixed the vacuum advance hose. We fixed the fresh air vent. Now we're gonna connect the choke. When you put it on, make sure the hook and rod are put are together right. If the butterfly opens and closes, that's how you know it's on right. a power and a ground wire to the choke. Keep in mind the power and wire needs to have power even after the car is running. As you can see, there's power going to the choke. From this point, it will slowly open. It's warm, so the choke is open. By pumping the gas for, for a cold start, the choke will close.
find your old car and see if it works right. Thanks for watching my video. Hey, see you next time on Zip and